So, hello and welcome to NTI Live. Um, yeah, don't ask why Sonny says starting soon. Um, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. So, um, this was a very last minute live stream, I should say. So, um, if it is a little bit jank, I do apologize. Anyways, welcome, welcome to NTI Live 16. Uh, this is going to be my second uh, Cisco Live uh, stream, if you like. And uh, this is the Cisco Networking Live uh, Understanding Port Security or cybersecurity through the use of wires, if you like. So, um, before I do start, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been watching so far, and I appreciate you all, and thank you so much for the support, and thank you for 400 subscribers as well. Uh, thanks, Dr. Great, for mentioning that. Uh, so, I'm going to, first of all, uh, introduce what I'm going to be doing today. A nice little overview. So... As people may know, when you have cybersecurity in enterprise systems, so am I. <laughs> so basically, first of all, you start off with, uh, like, I guess when you begin to learn networking, you think of something called wireless uh, security, which is a uh, MAC address filtering, actually. And um, most people who start, including myself, uh, a lot of people in one of my IT classes actually when I was studying. Well, I am still studying now, but you know, uh, that sort of stuff. Anyways, they we all were learning about wireless um, security. Obviously, me giving out a presentation if you like about it, and uh, I thought to myself, that's probably it. And I thought to myself, they must have some form of wireless, like I guess not wireless, but MAC address filtering for wired devices because Ethernet is always an alternative uh, in network connection and always that's of course an alternative in cybersecurity I'm trying to get past it if you like if that was the only thing but of course I then came across uh, that Cisco's Catalyst switches and probably the Nexus switches as well actually come with something called port security uh, and I want to tinker around with that today so, uh, I'm going to give a few scenarios out. I'm literally thinking of this as I talk, okay? I'm just going to mention that right now. So, I'm having an idea. I'm going to have two scenarios. We're going to have one switch, two computers. One nice computer, and one unsafe computer. The nice one's going to be running Windows XP. Don't you dare ask why. It's an old computer, alright? Get over it. Second one is going to be running Kali Linux on my MacBook Pro, uh, which you definitely saw in my intro there if you were watching. Uh, and that's going to be the example of the bad network design. Uh, not trying to criticize everyone here, not trying to say you should do this right now. I'm just doing this as a demonstration so that I can, well, I don't know, this is a nice live stream if you like. So. My current home network at the moment has a normal Netgear PoE switch, okay? It, that's not very secure compared to Cisco, okay? It, but if it's my needs, okay, someone's not going to come into my room and just suddenly start plugging in Ethernet cables. Well, there is. I don't know who's watching. You're in the other room. But that's okay, because today we have a new uh, technique of defending uh, our network. So, um, I'd like to, br to bring... Uh, some, I guess you can say, not contestants, how can I put this, weapons, are weapons for today. So, let's get started. Um, I can see people leaving the stream as I speak, so I'm just going to start to pump up the volume. I don't know if that's a good way to put it, but we're going to put it like that anyway. Alright, just trying to pull out the current switch, so, which switch is this? This is switch 2, I think. Alright, so, um, we have our first main weapon, this is the main weapon, this is what makes the weapons weaponize. We have ourselves the Cisco Catalyst switch. Now this boy is an absolute beast from 2004. 
people may think to yourself, oh, it's so new, it's so old, sorry. Uh, but trust me, I'm pretty sure it has port security on this. If it doesn't, this is a bad live stream. But I'm pretty sure in 2008, sorry, they, they had this. Come on, they must have had this. And our two contestants. We have our good device, our nice friendly device. My Fanta bottle just dropped. Our friendly device. The Dow Precision M65. And our bad guy. The guy from the dark side. Now my plate's dropping because I ate lunch a few minutes ago. Uh, we have... The MacBook Pro. Now, he's our enemy. Because he's going to be running... Kali Linux in a virtual environment and we have to stop him at all costs so uh, I'm gonna be running a few commands which I was taught by someone who's probably watching the stream which is very very generous also in the other room a shout out to you uh, and uh, I'm gonna be running some commands on that and I'm then gonna see what it is we can do today and um, we're gonna kick this guy out. This one. I want him. I want him to be crying as he tries to get into the network. I want him to. I want to have to bang my head on the table if I was a bad guy, but I want to be cheering on if I was a good guy, which of course I am because I'm the network engineer in this in this scenario. So you know what? I should have invited more people. Do you know what? I think to make this stream a bit more spicy, I might actually just invite someone on stage. But I'm not too sure yet. So let's not let's not let's not jump to conclusions as yet. The people who are watching, one of them, they can be on stage any second. But we'll leave that for now. So that's not confirmed yet. But uh, anyways, um, let's begin. So apart from our main weapons, we also have some smaller weapons. For instance, we have one Ethernet cable. Yes, one Ethernet cable. Um, Actually, for this, for the first demonstration, we'll need two Ethernet cables. We will also need our famous rollover cable, or Cisco console cable. And of course, a kettle lead for the switch. And also some more plugs for the MacBook and such. So, uh, with that out the way, let's get started. So... Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to power on the switch. So I'm going to get this sucker. You know what? I'm not going to power on the switches at first. Uh, two cables voice crack. I didn't even hear the voice crack. So thank you very much for pointing that out. I'll jump to 12 minutes 20 in the replay. When, if I am bothered to replay this live stream. Probably will. want to see how it went. But of course, you know, I haven't got all that time. Uh, anyways, I'm going to put this here uh, and I'm now gonna turn this bad boy on and I just closed my stream preview let's just get back to that sweet all right let's just put my mouse up there and there goes the tissue um, right so the Dell uh, precision laptop uh, this thing is gonna be our good guy he's our in, in our scenario, I don't know what to call him, because he can either be a normal user, because he's just another laptop with an Ethernet port and such, but at the same time, he's also going to be the one who's going to be connecting. So he's basically just me. This is the Network Engineer's laptop, alright? This is the Network Engineer's laptop. Uh, and he's going to get juiced up right now. The laptop is anyway. Um, and... I'm going to fire it up. Uh, now I can show you the screen of this computer because this, well I know you won't see it all as of yet, but in a little bit. But this one you, you can see. The one that you can't see for the moment is the MacBook because this is a production device. This is not a production device, this is a production device. So I'm now going to power on the MacBook and he's going to be, you know what, let's sit the, nah. Um, let's just sit that on there for now. I was going to sit him on here because he is the network engineer. But instead, we're just going to have to do this. Um, so I'm just going to quickly grab <laughs> my um, my uh, plug. And we're going to 
get the MacBook booted up. It's also worth noting that uh, this computer has a glass screen, not a glass screen, a plastic screen. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, Apple. Um, but they, not, not, not they, what am I talking about? But um, yeah, this computer I won't be showing too much of because it will probably reveal my face that you've probably seen so many times already. So I don't even know what the point is anymore. I'll do a face reveal soon though. I don't know when, but one day. You've just seen my entire password. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do this. Have I made a mistake? Which I luckily did. Okay, that's good. Let's just type that in all over again. No. Third time's a charm. No. Oh, caps lock was on. Okay, that that's alright. You guys didn't see anything. Alright, we're on. Okay. XP computer is on. Alright, so. Alright, so we are good to go on that one. The Mac is about to turn on now, I think it is. Alright, the bad guy's on. He's getting ready. And at the same time, also now I'm going to power on my Switch uh, when I plug in this roll-on cable. Roll-over cable, that's right, Noah. Yeah, um, so I'm just going to quickly grab my extra camera because I want you guys to see this from two perspectives. Because it's going to be fun, maybe. Uh, I feel like if I was in an auditorium of some description, this would have been a bit more fun. If there was a bunch of cybersecurity nerds all watching, I'd be, I think they'd be a bit more enlightened. But uh, this is only a live stream in my office, I'm just going to say. Uh, for reasons. Uh, so, yeah, that's fun, I guess. Um, let's just quickly get this plugged in to my computer. You guys probably just heard that. Um, all right. Just going to leave that there. And I'm just going to configure... Um, all right, we got our spare camera. I'm very small, bit scratchy. That's because of my phone is in the way. Sorry about that. Um, that's the no noise suppression for you. Very very naked mic. I don't know why I'm calling it naked. I'm just saying that it's because. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we just add on my extra device. So the laptop here, the XP, is just going to be covered by a great big black thing for now, only because that is actually going to be the screen. I can see my face exactly now, so if I do switch over, you'll immediately see me. But we are not going to do that, because that is very bad. Um, so I'm just going to put you here. I, I, I actually love the lighting in this situation. Um, I wish it would be much, much better. So, uh, let me just think. How is this actually not going to work? So, I'm going to move my microphone just here, so you can hear me nice and clear. Uh, we're going to move my ornaments that are blocking, or well, like, I guess we're using as tools in the moment, so I'm just going to take those off stage, if you like. Uh, and I'm just going to move a switch slightly more. That's the wrong thing. Okay, you actually can't see that as of yet. Good. All right, we'll just leave that there. I panicked for a second. So it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right, we have enough room. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, grab my kettle lead. Okay, I just wanna make sure that this is all nicely done. Um, I'm really sorry for this amazingly boring stream. I do apologize for wasting all your time, um, but yeah. Sorry about that. 
deeds must be done. Um, Just trying to position this nicely without anyone spotting too much sensitive information. Okay, that is in a pretty good position. Alright, that's cool. Okay, I'm just going to quickly wipe this with a hoodie because what else do you have lying around that's just right there in front of you? There we go. What an amazing device. Uh, okay, let's just put this down a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to close the curtain. Draw the curtains in the theatre. Alright, there we go. That's a bit nicer now. You can see that on the screen clearly. Not you can't in the moment, but you could in just a second. Alright, uh, ready guys? Laptop view in three, two, one. All right, here we are. So um, now you have the laptop view. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to quickly uh, load up my um, sort of software to use in order to for you to see what's actually happening uh, on this computer. So I'm just going to quickly start this up. Um, let's just grab the kettle lead. And what I'm going to do now, you probably just saw my face there, I'm probably now going to plug in my switch. So you're now going to hear a great big loud bunch, l bunch of loud noises. Actually, you know what, let's just configure the com port just first and uh, let's just do that actually so I'm just gonna quickly plug this in which it is now and I'm just gonna grab the console cable over to the switches side which is just over here what a great way to spend a Sunday afternoon and uh, I'm now just gonna quickly log into hyper terminal hopefully you don't see my name on start you probably do see my last name which I don't really want anyone seeing and I'm just going to type in, I really put my last name there? I don't think I did, actually I probably did. Alright, I'm just going to quickly find my tools I need. Where are we? Hyper terminal, there we go. That's exactly what we need. Alright, cool. GG, because everyone deserves a good game. Uh... Connect using COM1. 9,600. Okay. Alright, sweet. Okay, we're going to start this up now. Alright, you guys ready for the switch turn on? I know no one else is here, but oh well. Oh well. It's fun while it lasted, didn't it? Jeez, those fingers. Yes, I do know. Very, very vaguey fingers. So let's just turn this on. Alright, switch turning on now. We should see some activity in just a couple seconds. Alright, I went a bit of luck. We'll see the stuff and then we'll get all this all on the way. There we go. Alright, it's on the way. Okay, so I'm now just going to talk you through what the bad guy is going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to make a sort of quick paint scenario, if you like. So I'm just going to really share my screen while this thing also boots up. So I'm actually going to put on another window here. Um, window capture. And it's going to be paint. Lovely. Yummy. Okay, so. Here's paint. So here's how things are going to be done, right? So, we're going to have two scenarios. The first scenario, we're going to have our normal switch, okay? We're going to have our two ports use, being used, alright, okay? 
One port is going to be used by the normal computer, so our Dell. And the other one's going to be used by our MacBook. I'm putting that in a weird shape because it's bad. Um, he's going to be able to, be able to connect just fine. And I'm going to run a couple of Kali Linux commands to verify that this does indeed work. Of course this is going to work because this is a normal switch being used basically at this current point. However, the second example, I'm going to draw that one in orange. Uh, we're going to have our switch once again. But we're only going to be using one port. Actually, no, we're going to use two, two ports. Why not? Uh, port 2 is now broken. Uh, yeah. So, you can't see my thumb. Thumbs up. Okay, so... Oh. It's done, okay, alright. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to have the normal computer plugged in. Alright, we're going to have our MacBook try to work, right? But in this attempt, it's not going to work. So, basically what I'm demonstrating here is something called port security, and also just the basic shutdown on all ports. Because when you first load up a Cisco switch... For the first ever time, if you never save your config file, you stupid guy, if you're in production, all your ports are always shut down, right? But, I don't know why I said stupid guy. But anyways, um, wow, this, this switch is amazing, aircon, I have to say that. Wow, who needs aircon when you have a Cisco Catalyst switch? Anyways, um, so when you have, okay, this is actually switch one. Okay, so when you obviously have your um, stuff, stuff, what am I talking about? Yeah, when you have your, I'm just going to move slightly closer. When you have your um, ports closed, basically, I don't know what I'm actually saying anymore. <laughs> um, you would, um, you can't, you can't connect anything. And when you do normally have them open, you can connect everything. Uh, is this actually working? I don't know if you can actually see this properly. I'm just going to move this up slightly. And I might just actually zoom in. So just give me one second. Can we just quickly edit this? Okay, wow. It does zoom in. Okay, that is that is very, very cool. Okay, we're just going to zoom into that. Now, you should be able to see everything. So, uh, oh, wow, big fat fingers. All right, so I'm just going to quickly make this window a little bit smaller so you, everyone can see. Okay, everyone can see everything. All right, so, first of all, <coughs> we're just going to check all the ports. So, I'm going to be in a very weird position here. So, first I'm going to do show IP int brief. Now, everything should be administratively down, which it is. Everything is all down. Every single thing is down. Now, that's good in our case because... What this means, hi there, Switch. So what this means is, when you're um, gonna connect to the computer uh, to the Switch, so I'm just gonna quickly grab my first Ethernet cable over here, right? And I'm now actually gonna plug it in to Switch port number one, okay? So port number one is now engaged on the Switch side. Uh, it's not enabled, it's just engaged, as in now there's something in there. Uh, I'm just going to put this wire here. Right, and I'm now going to place the second part of the wire in the PC. Now, it's going to say the protocol's up, but it's still administratively down. So I can't actually ping it in any way, shape or form. 
I can't ping any other devices. So as you can see, the line protocol is changed up. Uh, so actually no, both of them are now changed up. So you can see, if I move this slightly, uh, let's just move that main a slight smaller one minute. Uh, now you can't see anything. So now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make, push it back a bit further. All right, I'm just gonna make it slightly bigger as well. Change state. Wow, the whole thing. Okay, uh, let's move that slightly more to the left. Okay, yeah, you can pretty much see that. Yep, you can see the whole thing now. Eh, sweet. Okay, so yeah. Um, bottom gear, lads. So yeah, you can obviously see that the um, that both of the interfaces are currently up. So now if we do show IP in brief again, the first one's up. I don't know if you saw that, but the first one is indeed now up. So um, what that now means is when we... Um, I didn't show up. Okay, good, he didn't. Oh, right, yeah. So when we um, connect a device for the first time, it actually does just come up. So if I was to now take it out, uh, give me just another second. Just going to span that for a minute. All right, if I do this now, I'm going to unplug it at the switch side. Yeah, you can see it's now changed to down. Now, <laughs> back up now, shouldn't it? Yeah, so now what this means is I'm now uh, the I can actually now connect into the system. So what I'm also gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly configure the interface of my Dell laptop. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, open up my um, my network connection here. So right now I'm just gonna be making a sort of address and a subnet so I'm gonna make the general subnet um, don't know why that went really dark hello it's all gone dark hello okay up oh, it's back contrasting is great um, yeah so basically I'm now just gonna make that's my wife for the floor. so I'm just gonna make a subnet uh, and an IP uh, sort of like thing uh, and I'm just going to change the internet protocol thing. So I'm going to make a static IP address now, right? So, in this case, we're going to have a, uh, a address of 10.0.0.10. The subnet mask will be 255... God, why does this always happen? Dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. The gateway will just be ten dot zero dot zero dot one. Okay. There'll be no DNS servers. Okay. So uh, we basically just created ourselves a basic network. Okay. So now we have that. We can now actually uh, ping other devices. So now we are connected and firewalled on our side, which is very, very nice. So, oh, stupid contrast. So now we're back uh, again. Uh, we can now actually just leave the Dells for a little bit. So now I'm going to hop over to my MacBook, and I'm now going to load up the interface uh, for Ethernet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to load up Kali Linux. And what that's going to do is it's going to be able to show me, um, well, it's going to show me a lot of things, so <laughs> that's cool. 
I'm going to run a network scan, uh, and I'm going to sort of see what's on the network. So, of course, we have our device of 10.0.0.10 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So, I'm also now going to connect uh, my Kali Linux device. Now, let's say there's no DHCP, and let's say the hacker is smart enough that he actually figures out the subnet and the IP, and then he's actually able to connect. We'll just say that the IP structure's already been configured. Of course, this is only a switch, so of course you can't really, I guess, keep things managed, because it's only a, a test network, isn't it? So you can't really just do that. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm now just going to quickly load into that. And I'm just going to quickly get up my trusty virtual box. This stream is probably so boring to you all right now because this is only the first stage. And we're about 35 minutes in. My virtual box is now loading. <laughs> and I'm now just going to quickly turn on Kali Linux. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to get my, um, bit worried about this computer because you can see my reflection, so I'm just a bit worried about that. So I'm now going to bring in my, uh, my k -Links machine. I wonder if I could just slot it on here. What would happen? What would happen? Never, you should never do this. Never ever do this. Never in your entire life you should ever do this. You can see a clear reflection of what's behind me. All right, so we're in. Uh, now, I'm just gonna quickly type in the um, the username and password. Now, um, when we begin this. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that everything's all safe to go. I think we have a whole notepad file of all my documentation. But uh, we are now here on the Kali Linux machine. And I'm just gonna begin to make my uh, connection available. So I'm gonna make my Ethernet connections now. Ready to go. So right now, I'm going to configure the, div um, the network connection address for this one. <coughs> of um, 10.0.0.11. So I'm just gonna make a new wired connection. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making that sound. That's a, that's a, a that is a request from somebody. Uh, and I'm just gonna call it um, test network. So probably can't you see my face. Um, so then we're gonna um, make a IPv4 setting. It's gonna be manual, and we're gonna make the address. So the address is gonna be 10.0.0.11. The net mask is gonna be 24. So 255.255.255.0. And the gateway is gonna be 10.0.0.1. No DNS servers at all. Alright, so we're now going to connect up to the network test. We're officially now connected. 
So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up a terminal window. That's Firefox, actually. Please don't show me that. Get off my screen. No. Go away. Thank you. Brilliant. All right, so... This is going to be so jank. So, um, yeah, you obviously can see that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to run a network scan. Um, if I can remember on the top of my head what the command is, that'd be great. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a quick Google because I'm not very skilled in K-Linux. I do know someone in this house who is. I don't mind inviting them on just for a couple seconds. And they can just quickly enter this command in for me. Um, if they can, would you please give me two knocks on the door? Thank you. That'd be very, very appreciated. Alright, so I'm just going to plug this in. And the interface is not up as of yet. So I think the line protocol should be up. Uh, the protocol is changed to what? So, yeah. Ethernet number three is awake and alive. So. Uh, please do come in. This is probably my Kylan extension. Yeah, come in. Hello, what's the problem? What do you do? So I want to just run a quick network scan. I want to use the SP function on my end map, please. Can you please enter in the, the command? Yeah, very, very grateful of you. Thank you. So, can you please walk through what's happening at the moment? And please do not move the screens because everything's broken on you, shown as it is. Wow. Okay. Do you want me to explain what's happening? Wait, are we live right now? Yes, we're live. <coughs> That's a bit stupid question. Sorry, I haven't been watching the screen. Can you tell me what's happening so far? So basically, we're trying to make a current network. Uh, the black one, which is a very amazing illustration I've made, <laughs> is basically... Both computers can, can connect this, is fine. And we need to do a, an Nmap scan okay. of the entire network. I do know what I'm doing, but I don't know if it's SP- or ST- dash or something like that. So, so you want to scan the whole network? Yes, I think it's SP. S, well. It's underscore... It's no, it's, it's hyphen... Lowercase s, capital P. Can so, we get your password here? We sure can. Like, oh, what's it called? Pseudo... Space suit. Pseudo space. It's very... I don't know how you do it here. There you go. I don't think you want to see that. On actually, you know what? We don't need that. I just saw the entire command, actually. One minute. Did you? Let me just try this again. Um... We're gonna get to do it three times so it doesn't. Um, you just tap it three times very fast. There we go, SP. That's the whole command there. Well done! Alright, now what does SP mean? So, SP, I don't know what it actually means, because I just, I, just, I just found it on um, Stack Overflow. If you um, really want to know what SP means, go to the Nmap website. The link w -W will not be in the description. Um, so... So you didn't need my help after all? That's good. <laughs> Alright, so we're now just going to quickly scan this. <laughs> Very technical. And we're now going to begin to run an NM map scan. So already you can see that there are two hosts up. There we go. Uh, Dell. You can see the MAC address over there. I don't care if you've seen the MAC address, this is a non-production device. But you can see uh, very, very faintly that there is a MAC address right here. Uh, and it's called Dell. Mm. And it's 10. So officially we can now see that there is a... <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Once was funny, now shut the hell up. Um, Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adele. Adele rolling in the deep. <laughs> um, let's just have a look at my stream and see how actually done this really does look. Um, one person's only watching. We can make a we we can make a loop. Okay, we're not gonna make a loop. We're just going to leave it there. 
Uh, anyways, <laughs> so, um, we have our mmap scan done. So officially, the first network is complete. We could already see how much crap I can now do to this computer. I can now go on meterpreter, me meterpreter, and just steal all his files. Because I'm a hacker, and I want to steal all this stuff. Not that I really am a hacker, but I'm just going to say that because I know the commands. I'm not going to give them to you. I don't know them very well. I just copy and paste them on Stackflow and my brother over there, because he's a, actually quite knowledgeable in this. But, um, script kitty. So we're now going to, um, uh, actually port secure this. So now we're going to crack down. We're now going to kick all these people out, all right? We're going to now gain security back. That's how we're going to do this. This is where the fun begins. This is now where the fun begins. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go on a quick break. Uh, for everyone. That only being one person. But uh, we're going to um, just pause for about a few minutes. And we're just going to... Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. So... Um, do stay tuned, just stay here, go get a coffee or go get a quick drink or something because if you are watching this I only being one person, go take a pee, go take a... Um, go take a biscuit from the cupboard. Um, and I'll see you all in just about a few minutes. So, um, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, we are back. So, uh, what we're going to do now, uh, we're now actually going to plug in nothing, because I'm saying words that are just randomly coming out of my mouth. 
so what I'm going to do now is I'm now actually going to begin to show people what really is the real network plan we should have here. So, I'm going to put it into a quick uh, paint scenario once again, because who doesn't love paint scenarios? Uh, cursor, please come back to me. You are a nice friend of mine, but I don't want you to have to disappear. So, that is the wrong thing to do. I can't use my mouse only at the moment. Alright, so we have our switch. Alright. Now, what we're going to do... By default, all ports are just down, okay? Like, they're, they're just completely down. They're administratively down. So they have, by default, been, been hard-coded to say no, 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 no. And all the ones that don't ever get used say no by default. But when you plug something in, automatically, well, on my switch, that is, it decides to say yes. It decides to say, come on in. Be our guest. Alright, so... We're now going to connect our Ethernet cable here. To our laptop. Now, he's allowed, okay? he He's our friend. This guy right here. Okay? However, our MacBook... He's not our friend. Okay? I don't know who the hell this guy even is. I don't know why he's here on my network. This is my damn network. Get off my damn scene. But he is basically an intruder, right? He's trying to get the end map scan and he's going to start to hack things, okay? And he's going to probably steal my bank credentials and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to begin to lock things down one by one using different techniques uh, of cybersecurity on Cisco Casa switches. So by default, There'll be a yes, okay? But we don't want that because we're going to secure this network, all right? We're going to stop that from happening. So when this thing rolls out in production, it's going to go out to it and say, no way, Jose. All right? Now, just a quick demonstration here. I'm now just going to quickly bring back all my main camera view. So I'm now going to hide all my other cameras so you can just see my normal self once again just for a couple seconds so we're here now in the network okay we have our two ports all right this one over here uh you know what i'm just gonna actually move this uh i'm actually just gonna move it along to here just so i can show you what i actually mean uh in a bit more of a detailed manner that is so up close i would be scared but you know what here we go this is funny so, we have our two ports here, okay? We have port 3 on this one and port 1 on this one, okay? Now, if I were to unplug both, okay? It's just a bare switch, okay? Now, port 1 is the Dell computer, okay? He's allowed on this network. So, when he gets in, he gets a green light. You can see the light there just in the corner. It's going yellow and it should go green in a matter of a few seconds. Now, the MacBook... It's thinking, hmm, I want to now connect to this network as well. So, he's just going to go here right next to him. Just slide his way in, you know. And just like that, he should also be able to, if you can see it, yep, connect. So, number three is also now up. Um, but let's say it's down. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to turn off the port. So, you can see that there's currently some form of activity here. Now, if I were just to start sending off some form of network packets, if you like, so if I were just to do a ping, um, there you go, you see it's all green now. So ping uh, 10.0.10, .10, right? Now, there should be some network activity. There should be some blinking. And you can obviously now see there See, there's now just some blinking between the two that are currently in sync because of the amazing latency there is. And as soon as I do Control C, that's actually Command C. Uh, this is Mac, stupid. Thanks, Noah. You're a lovely guy. 
Alright, if I do control C, it will just stop, alright? There you go, it's just stopped. So, there is consistent network traffic happening at the moment on this network. And it is actually able to receive and send network traffic uh, through the MacBook to the uh, thing here. The, the, the Dell, sorry, what the hell am I talking about? So, what I'm going to do now, I'm actually just going to shut it down. Just gonna pick it, I'm just gonna completely turn it off, okay? Now, we do have about approximately 47 more ports, but I'm not gonna do that for all 47, okay? We're only gonna do it for these four, alright? We're only gonna count in these first four. One to four, alright? I don't know how we do ranges in Cisco yet, because I'm not exactly educated. Well, I, I guess I'm a bit educated on Cisco networking, but to be honest with you, I haven't really looked into the deep depths of iOS as of yet, so I don't exactly know about that. But for now, what I can say is we can just simply go into uh, so en and then conf t. So now I'm just in the configure terminal of the Cisco iOS command line. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to type in um, what's it called? Um, I no int I think it's, uh, what was it called? Interface, I think it's fast ethernet. So zero slash three. All right, so now we're in eth interface fast ethernet zero three. So this one, and you can see how the light right now is currently green. Uh, so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in shut down, okay? Very simple, shut down. All right, and the second I type in shut down, that light, I think, in theory, should go off or at least go orange. The second I press enter. Three, two, one. He's off, that's it. He's gone. Completely. That's it. There is no activity now. He can no longer be on the network. That is the first thing you do with a switch. Turn off your ports immediately because all it takes now is for me to go out of port 3. Oh shucks, it doesn't work. Alright, let's try port 2 now. So now we're gonna go down here to port 2 and now port 2's light turns on. See? And in a matter of a few moments I should be also connected again. Should go green in just a couple seconds. But that now means that once again, I'm in. Okay? Uh, so, once again, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So, I'm now going to come out. And I'm actually now going to show you on the... Yeah, there you go, see? Green. So, once again, if I can do a quick ping. You see there's now consistent lighting between the, the two in sync. And the second that I do control C, it stops. So... There you go. You can see that obviously uh, on here there is actually network activity. So once again, if I just do what I did before. So if I just do exit, to exit out of the first interface. And if I do int, uh, I'm actually not going to show you myself. So just give me a couple seconds while I just quickly show you. So, I'm now going to show you how I do it once again. So, I'm just going to go back to the switch. And I'm now just going to type in, also, you can see I'm in comp T. Uh, I'm in the privilege exec mode, if you like. So, now I'm actually going to type in int for interface. And then fast ethernet 0 slash 2. I'm now in the interface. And now I'm just going to type in the simple word, shut down. And let's say I'm just going to start a quick ping on the, um, on the Windows computer here. Uh, if I can just quickly load up my command prompt. Yep, 
Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. So if I now quickly hop into CMD. And we're just a little bit of research on how I actually do this continuously. Google's your best friend, because I actually don't know what I'm doing for this exact sec. I do know how to obviously ping, but not exactly continuously. Like on Linux. Okay, dash T. Okay, cool. So ping, and then only for this example, dash T, 10 dot zero dot zero dot 11. So, and now I'm going to start the ping. And you can see that there's simply network traffic. And I can also see that the lights are constantly flickering. Inconsistency. So, I'm just going to quickly move this out of the way so you can about to see this. Um, I'm just going to move this back a little bit so you can see both windows so I can really just try and prove my point here. But the second, I mean the second that I type this, there will be no more stuff. It will never be a reply, okay? It's still going so far, I can still see it moving. Right, but the second that I enter and shut down, this is going to turn off. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's it. And now, in a few seconds, request timeout. So you can see now, once again, the interface is down. But that's not all. So now, the guy with the MacBook has just realized, oh, I can't get in from the network through all these ports. But there's one device that is actually still connected to this one. In this example, we'll just say, okay. So, now we can actually just say, oh, why don't we do this? Uh, why don't we just unplug my MacBook, alright? Oh, I know. I'm just going to do this. Take this one out. And plug this one back in. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely fine. Of course, the IT administrator is not obviously going to put down down for that one because that's one of his devices. That's his device. So, of course, he's not going to put down down on that one because he's trying to access his network. So, now you're probably thinking, shoot, what now? So, this is where Cisco and their amazing technology comes into play. Now, on modern Cisco switches... And I'm pretty sure on these old ones as well. I'll just quickly double check that in just a second. <laughs> I'm just going to exit this out. <laughs> so, um, so, what's it called? Um, let me see this. I think it's switch port. Switch port. Give me just a couple of seconds, I need to just quickly reference some documentation. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Alright, so now we're just going to go into, back into command prompt. So, not back into command prompt, um, go back into um, thingamajig, Cisco iOS. That's the one. You're very smart now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to hop into the computer once again. So now we're back in hyper terminal, and we're now gonna type in the e in interface that we want to secure, which in our case is int 
that one that needs to be in comp T first. So configure terminal or the comp T. And I'm now just going to quickly type in int fast even as zero slash one. Now, in this current interface, there is one address. That's the MAC address of the MAC. Now, the IT administrator has obviously noticed this, so he's now actually going to unplug this as a whole. Okay? He's unplugged now. He's noticed there's a fault. And he hasn't done his production line properly. So now he takes back his switch into his testing environment, okay? And now he's going to go, hmm. Let's think. We can now do this. So switch port. Now, switch port, in my opinion, is a pretty cool um, command, I guess you can say. I can't remember what the exact word was. But it's, it's cool because there's something called switch port security. Port security. Now. What this does is, you can see it says command rejected fast signal zero one's a dynamic port. So that means that anything can connect to this right now. Anything. Now, we want to try. Uh, I'm going to do a quick question mark here. So we can see that we now have um, some stuff to configure, of course. So. There's currently no security on this port. So we have a couple of uh, commands here. I'm going to go through MAC address and violation. So with MAC address, uh, if I do MAC address, okay? Uh, and if we do question mark, it will show us a couple options. So we have either HHH, so we have to actually type in our MAC address one by one, or we do sticky. Sticky is probably the best one to do because it doesn't actually, um, what's it called? Make you type in the address. And as soon as you enter a new ethernet cable into the correct device, you are good to go. And of course, don't you dare do this on a production line, silly. Because if you do, and if someone's there trying to just hack into your network, you're just going to give them a MAC address access. So therefore, he's always going to be there, okay? Take this into a learning environment, okay? Not a learning environment. Take it into a testing environment, okay? And once you've got that, we're going to type in the word sticky. So now we type in sticky. Any device now that connects in at this second will now connect. So if I now plug in my Dell, this is my Dell, and I know that for sure. We got ourselves a yellow light, so it's virtually now connecting. And he's up and he's on the way. And now if I were just to show poor uh, it doesn't really want to go through it, doesn't it? Port. Dash. Oh, wow. It doesn't really like doing this. Maybe it's because we're in configure at the moment. It won't actually work. Yep, I knew it. Okay, so we won't do that as of yet. So you can see that the interface has changed up. So VLAN 1, I'm pretty sure that is the secure thing, I believe. So, um... Yes, yeah, sticky. Sticky indeed. A very sticky situation. So now that we've got sticky, uh, which allows it to stick the MAC address, uh, we're now just going to really exit out of here. Actually, not no. We're going to do one more thing. So this is just a quick one. Uh, now, when you're obviously doing uh, port security, you can set to how many IP or sorry MAC addresses can be on this device, on this port, so on this switch port. Now, the default, uh, you know what, let me just walk over it first. So, maximum. Maximum allows you to basically have a number of MAC addresses on one switch port. So, switch port 1, or interface 1, fast even at 0, 1. Okay? 
it has one MAC address currently assigned to it. We can assign 10,000 if we want to. Not that I would I would ever in my entire life, especially in a production environment, but definitely I'm pretty sure it's possible. We can have two, if you like. So you may be thinking, why? Now, uh, this is a quick reference from a network chat video that I once actually watched. Uh, but I guess you could say this in this example. I'm going to use another example. Uh, let's say you have one computer now connected. And let's say now you want to switch over to another device. Let's say you have another laptop, okay? You can now have two MAC addresses, so you can now plug in a second device into that exact same switch port so that the switch will actually learn that, put it onto its CAM table, will make sure that port security is enabled, and therefore any other devices that connect in this entire world will not work. But obviously on here, and any of the two devices, will work. So, uh, I'm going to leave it as one, because that's my situation. Listen to that amazing sound. Beautiful. So, um, we can now simply move on with this video. So, uh, we can now do switch port violation, okay? Switch port port security violation. Now, violation is basically the way of saying, how are we going to punish this, this guy? And there's a couple of ways we can actually do this. So we have protect. So protect is just going to protect the, the switch. So it's going to probably put it in its own little place, I think. Uh, restrict is going to restrict the network traffic. So only certain things can happen. But my favorite, shut the thing down. Administratively shut it down. So basically what it's going to do is the second that another device even touches the pins of that damn switch port, this thing's going to shut down immediately. There we go. So, we now have port security on our system. How cool is that? Okay. Now, if I were to just show port security, I don't know if it'll work in this mode, but Nope. Um, if I exit one more time. Mm, thanks very much. So. Secure port. Why is it not showing? I don't think it will show us as of yet. But um, anyways, if we just ignore that, let's just hope I didn't do any mistakes. And it does actually work. Um, oh, actually, I need to do one more thing. Sorry, I completely forgot. Oh, God. This is why you never rush through things. Uh, if we go back to conf t, right? If we go back into our interface, we also need to do switch mode access make sure it's always access okay so if I just do a quick question mark you can see other things we have so access means set trunking mode to access unconditionally now I'm just going to really run through all those commands one more time just to make sure that everything is working super fine and dandy so that's obviously now stuck. Good. Good. That's all we need. Brilliant. All right, now we're just going to try this out. God, it's going to be kind of warm in here. All right, so. We're obviously now back at our Cisco switch, and you can see there's a nice green light. How beautiful. So, um, the Mac's now going to try again. He's thought to himself, you know what, we're going in again. We're going to go in nice, alright? He's now going to connect to this switch. 
I'm poor number three. But yet, nothing's happened. Nothing has happened. Oh, shucks. Okay, uh, I'm going to try port two now. By the way, port 4 has been configured, so we're not even going to include it in this video, because I'm not bothered to do this 48 times. Um, nothing works. Okay? Right. He's now given up. Okay? You say, you know what? I'm taking this now to the next level. I'm going to unplug this device. Okay? He's now going to unplug it. Alright? And now he's going to take his blooming MacBook, right? And he's now gonna say, okay, take this. So he's now gonna plug his MacBook in. Right, he's got his yellow light. And let's hope this actually does work, because if not, I'm gonna make myself look very stupid here. Uh, it should block automatically. If not, I've done something wrong. Um. Why is he still here? Why is he still here? He's on! Right, we have... We have a failure here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fail. We have a fail. Uh, something's happened. So we go back into our device now. Back into our Dell computer. Yeah, once again, I'll see fine. Okay, yeah, we have... We have came across something called an error, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens when you don't do your stuff right. So what I'm going to do now, now I'm going to refer to my documentation. I'm going to try this over again. All right, because in theory that should have worked. Yo -y. Oh! Has it turned itself off? Okay, it hasn't. Okay, cool. Thought I got things working there. <laughs> now, I know there's now zero people probably watching this entire video. But you know what? That's alright! So we're just gonna check something here. Hmm. It's really, really weird if you ask me. <laughs> right, so first we have a switch port mode access all right so i'm just going to quickly type this in as we go along because i'm looking at this documentation uh we're just going to try it one more time okay if not i'm going to make a video next week on this maybe a bit more detailed a bit better because obviously things do get a bit messed up during the live stream uh because that's the way things work <laughs> not really but you know uh so wow that's an amazing view. Let's get back down. Why is it so bad, man? Come on. All right, there we go. So. Cough. This bloody thing. 
switch. Dust allergy is coming in hot. So first we have our switch port access. So switch port mode access. Of course now switch port port security should be next, I think. There we go, so that's that. What up next, Doc? <laughs> so I think Maxim actually does come first. I'm going to leave it at a 1. So now I've got to enter in the Mac address as sticky. By the way, the, the documentation I'm watching is an amazing video. Um, I'll link that. A little bit down below. You know where you bet? It's network chat, by the way. Amazing guy. He helps me with all my stuff. That's how I learn. And uh, yeah, I was trying to do a presentation on similar things, but unfortunately, mine never seems to work out firstly because I'm still learning. But that's okay. And of course, he uh, violations up next. So, violation shut down. Of course, for me. Don't know what YouTube is like. But it's something different. Uh, shut down for me. Yep. Okay. So now it's going to do end. All right, um, and now we're just gonna do show port security. There we go. All right, we are back in line, ladies and gentlemen. So now I know exactly what's going on. Okay, I did it all in the wrong order. So always get your things in the right order first because that way things will work out just fine. So you can see we have our fast Ethernet 0, 1 interface. And we see we have our uh, maximum security, our maximum secure address, so 1, which is the current MAC address. The current address is 1. So of course we have connected and everything is absolutely fine. So, what we're going to do now uh, so now we're going to have the Mac connect back onto the network. So, you know what? I'm just going to run through the entire thing all over again, alright? So, obviously, the port is on, okay? It's kind of connected, all right? <coughs> really sorry about this. Um, so, the Mac guy, all right, is going to try connecting, okay? First attempt, port three. Here we go. Bang. 
Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, um, port two. Next up. Absolutely nothing. So, once again, he now gets fed up. He's absolutely fed up about this now. And he's thinking, you know what? I'm gonna take this out. Take my one out. I'm gonna take his one out. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plug it in through there. See how he likes that. And he's trying to connect now. And you see it's blinking. So now he's trying to get something up. And I think the switch should deny it within the next few seconds. There should be a violation within the next mere few seconds now. There we go. Off. There we go. That's it. He's done. He's done for. He's finished. And that's what happens when you enable port security. See what happened there? He just got kicked off. Now he's been kicked off. Nothing he can do. He's completely disconnected. He's out. He's completely out. He can't do anything now. He cannot. He can't connect to port two. He can't connect back onto port one. He's out. So the IT guy realizes that his port, his cable's currently out when he gets back from work, uh, from doing something. I don't know. And he plugs it back in. Okay. Nothing happens. Now. Why is this? And it's because Cisco's switch, it will actually turn off the port administratively. The only way that you can turn it back on is through command prompt. That's the only way that you can turn this thing back, back on, is through command prompt. There is no other way you can do this. So if I were to go back onto iOS now, you can see here, secure Violation. Security violation occurred by a MAC address, and that's the MAC address of the MacBook. I don't really think you should be seeing that, but it's alright. Uh, and there you go. I think that's the MAC address of the virtual machine, so that's alright. So if we now just... Um, it's interchangeable anyway. But now that we're um, able to do that, uh, the only way we're really going to be able to get it back is if we type in en we already in en uh, conf t alright we're back in configuration terminal now we're going to do int fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and all we have to do now is just type in no shut or no shut down and there we go and now it's awake green light all good to go and I know someone's obviously here, and they've only just arrived, so I'm just going to run through this one more time, because I really do want them to see. Give me a hi if you're still here, because I really want to run this through one more time, but I just want to make sure that you're here first, so I don't, you know, I guess waste a bit of time. Alright, okay, cool. So, um, we on? Yeah, we're on, okay. So, <clears throat> just gonna deactivate this real quick. Hang on a minute. Nice and focused. Okay, so you can obviously now see that the light should be on. Is it on? No, the light's not on. Okay, if we unplug it. I'll get back in again. Hmm. Give me just a sec. No. Shut. Down. That should be changed up now. Give it a second. I'm really sorry about this for taking so long, but just, 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 just bear with me there. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. All right.
Alright, so. Still disabled. So what should happen now, in this case, we go back into our main device. So, yeah, back in the interface, show IP and brief. I'm really sorry about this if you're still here. It's just one command I'm missing. I'm just going to quickly find it. One minute. Oh, do we have to do the. Oh, we have to shut it down ourselves again? Right, okay. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So you have to do shut first and then do no shutdown. So I'm making note of that. Yep, so administratively down. And then no <clears throat> stop that please. No no stop 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 stop. No oh, okay, no, we're back. Okay, okay, yep, yep, no, no. Okay, yep, we're fine, we're fine. Uh give me a high if you're still here. Tell me your favorite ice cream flavor if you're still here as well. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, hi. Okay, so you can obviously see now that uh, it's, it's back up. Yay! Okay, brilliant. So now I'm going to run through the scenario just one more time for this one more person who's right here. Oh, hi, Nikki. Hello. So we have got our nice, safe, new device or our nice, new port security system. Vanilla. Very good. My favorite too. So um, we have... Port 1 is now being used by the Dell, the happy device. So now we're going to plug our MacBook in, okay? He's now come back for part 2, okay? He wants to get back in again. He wants to see if he can once again get in and try and steal some stuff. So, port 3 first. Right, he's getting in there, alright? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You see the lights are not flickering whatsoever. So he's like, okay, next please. Then hops into number two. All right. His attempt was wasted. So now he's had enough, okay? And with our new port security technology that has absolutely no idea about, he's like, okay, that's it. You know what? I've had enough. So you know what he does? He takes out the IT guy's poor computer. He takes it out, and he's like, this is what you get now, Noah. And he plugs it in, and he sees that light. And it should turn on in just a second. There we go. So now he's getting very happy. He's thinking, ah, yes, I can finally connect in. All right? He's, he's getting ready. He's getting up all his software. It's ready to blow up this entire network, okay? All four of your devices, he's going to blow it all up. And all of a sudden, in just a mere few seconds, it's off. That's it. It's gone. Just gone. That's it. And now he's probably crying on the floor. Because now he can't get in whatsoever. And that's because we've enabled port security. And that's what happens when you're safe. That's what happens when you're able to, you know, set up port security on your entire network. So, there we go. Oh, hi, Nikki. What did you think of that? Probably a pretty bad demonstration, but there we go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is port security. There will be a video on this. I might even upload it tonight, either tonight or uh, next Sunday. I'll probably do it tonight, though, because why the hell not? Um, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Very nice of you. Uh, so, <coughs> what we're going to do now, I'm going to end the stream in just a few minutes. But uh, any questions for the one person who's actually watching? Would you like the video up tonight or next week? 
you have no questions. Okay. Sure, okay, we'll do it. We'll, I'll upload it tonight. Why not? We'll have a proper, a bit more of a better um, video on this. Alright? Alright. So, uh, anyways, folks. Uh, or folk. Um, that is the end of the live stream. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, this live stream, and um, I really do hope that you've had a good one hour thirty six minutes of your time wasted. Um, but do you know what? That's just how it all goes. Yeah, it's not very quiet now. So I hope you now will have a good rest of your day, and that uh, all goes well. And uh, do stay in tune for tonight for uh, this week's NTI video on Cisco networking. So, that's it. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful and maybe fun. Uh, if you would like to request a video, then please do leave your comments in the comment section below. Or you can always check out our Discord server, Twitter, and Instagram pages, which are the links in the video description. And uh, join me once again tonight, where I'll be going through how to uh, set this all up, but in a bit more of a clean manner, if you like. So, uh, with that, thank you very much for watching. This has been NTI Live. Um, any questions? No, sorry, I already asked that question. Um, so, that is the end of the stream. So, um... I'll see you guys a little bit later. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye.